The key lies in how Hiram Abiff ties the Masons to another secretive society. The Templar Knights. And to a 500-year conspiracy that some claim has shaped the course of history and created the modern world. In his book, Morals and Dogma, Grand Master Albert Pike, one of the best known names in Freemasonry, sets out the Templars' true objective. The avowed object of the Templars was to protect the Christians who came to visit the holy places. Their secret object was the rebuilding of the Temple of Solomon. It was here at Jerusalem in the aftermath of the First Crusade, that a new knighthood was born. The poor fellow soldiers of Christ and the Temple of Solomon, popularly known as the Knights Templar, was the most famous and infamous of the crusading military orders. Formed between 1118 and 1120 AD, the Templars had the mandate of protecting the many Christian pilgrims who ventured to the Holy Land to see the sites sacred to their faith. The Templar cult was thus born in the Holy Land, in Jerusalem. The founders of the order received great support from the Crusader King in Jerusalem. The King endowed them with a most sacred site, the hill where the Temple of Solomon had once stood. When the Templars installed themselves on the hill where the Temple of Solomon had once stood, it had a profound effect on them and they began examining it. These researches led them to remains which contained the essence of some secret traditions to the heart of ancient Jewish belief. King does not kill a king. Why are you not close enough to a great king to learn by his example? After the loss of Jerusalem, the Templars set sail for Europe. Emerging as the poor fellow soldiers of Christ, the Knights Templars gradually became the wealthiest people in Europe, as well as prominent bankers and statesmen. They turned into a major economic force, offering banking services, transferring funds, opening lines of credit, and receiving interest. Although usury was forbidden, they had no compunctions about charging interest on the money they lent. The fact is, however, 
that interest is clearly unlawful in all the revealed religions. In 1307, King Philippe of France arrested them for charges of denial of Christ, homosexuality, and idol worship, as well as magic. In 1314, Pope Clement V declared all Templars as heretics to Christianity, ordering all their properties to be seized. Their leader, Jacques de Morlaix, was captured and burnt to the stake. based on a biblical account found in the book of Kings. King Solomon built the temple to God in Jerusalem. His top architect was Hiram Abiff, seen here in the costume beard. Legend says he was an ancient Freemason. Hiram Abiff knew the secret password of the master mason, but as the temple neared completion, he was confronted by three lesser stoneworkers who wanted to learn the secret password. A word that would grant them wisdom and power. Would you give me the secret word of a master mason? I cannot. Each one threatened Hiram Abiff with death unless he gave up the secret. But Hiram refused. Wait until the temple is completed. Then die. For that, he was killed with the tools of the Freemason's trade. A death toll sounds, and Hiram's body is removed from the stage. The three assassins plant an acacia tree over the grave. Then they try to board a ship to flee the realm, but they have no permission to leave. Meanwhile, Solomon learns that Hiram is missing and he orders his men to search for the architect. To the temple and see if he cannot be found. Some time later, the killers are found and are brought to the king of Tyre. All three admit their guilt, and the king orders their execution. Later, Hiram's death is confirmed when his pendant is discovered. <laughs> 